Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Small Four Four. So today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about Intercity 3 FC Barca 4. So I'm going to talk about my five things I learned from this game, and I want you guys to do the same in the comment section below. So like I said, we're going to be talking and breaking down this game. This should be around five to six minutes, hopefully, and around that time frame and so forth. So my first talking point is that Araujo is massive for this team. Araujo is a massive part for this team. It's been so long since we have Araujo had started for us in this game. Uh, for us in this season, and he's he's done an incredible job in this game. You know, he scored in that goal from the set piece there, and then look at that the way he defended that because there was a great chance for the intercity player to score. He just got past Jules Kunde, ran past, and Araujo literally put his body on the line to make that goal for a corner. That could have honestly, that prevention could have easily been a goal for them. And if yes, if because he was literally just one one because the goalkeeper was out of the net, you know, and Yaki Pena, he was out. And he was 1v1, and he, Araujo came in and did that sliding thing. You have to give credit to him, Araujo, guys. Araujo is massive for this team. Araujo is a crucial part of this team, and Araujo is a massive player. He's a very, very important player for us, and he needs to be appreciated. Okay? My second point from this game is Alonso can never play for Barcelona ever again. I'm sorry, guys. I'm done with Alonso. I'm really done with him. Because the fact that he came on and made that blunder for the third goal... Where he literally just slipped and be, slipped as a defender is disgusting. It's absolutely embarrassing, you know. And for a player of this caliber, it's 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 disgusting. I mean, there's a reason why Chelsea were actually happy to let him go. There's a reason why they were happy because they know this guy isn't good enough. And the fact that he were playing him as a center back, not even as a left back, is disgusting itself. I mean, Xavi just didn't even bring on Christensen. He, he completely ignored Christensen and brought Alonso. And that's my problem is that that's clear favoritism right there. And you have to criticize Javi for that. I'm not trying to just, I'm not trying to say that Javi should be sacked for that, which would be pretty harsh, but he has to be questioned because that almost cost us the game. You know, Alonso can never play for Barca ever again. Please. I don't want to see this guy ever again as a Barca player. So yeah, Alonso is crap. My third talking point from this game is that, um, Ferran Torres, we might have to give up on this guy. Ferran Torres. Guys, I really, really liked Ferran Torres when he first came. I thought he was a nice, nice player. He was really good looking cool, you know. From coming from Manchester City, you know, I thought he'd be nice. But he's not really been great at Barcelona. If we're being honest, you guys, Ferran Torres was terrible today. And I'm just, it's just baffling to me the amount of chances he's missing. Because these are the kind of chances that Timo Warner and Darwin Nunez are missing. And it's ridiculous because he's not really a bad football player. He's just terrible goal scoring. And that's your duty as a winger or as a striker because he was actually playing the striker for us today. And when you're a striker or when you're like an inside forward, you have to score those chances. And I'm looking at that chance right before halftime when he should have when he could have scored. And that goal in itself could have changed the it could have we could have been 2 0 up. We wouldn't even have to worry about intercity coming back from behind. And it could have been game over. But as we know, it wasn't the case. And Ferran Torres just missed another opportunity. My fourth talking point, my penultimate talking point for this game, is that Barcelona um, is that Barcelona has character. I think Barcelona has character in this kind of a competition to show that they're never going to let themselves down. When they could easily give up and concede, they're going to keep fighting. I mean, look at the game, um, remember early in the season when Barcelona played Al Sassuna in La Liga. We could have easily given up when we were down to 10 men. We were 1-0 down. But Barca kept fighting and pushing and pushing. And even though this Barca team may not be as good as other Barca teams, like, you know, 2016, 2017, you know, you know 2012, 2013, etc., this Barca team has courage and character, which is something I haven't really seen from this Barca team in a, quite some time. Like, it's incredible to see that this Barca team will fight for everything. They're going to give it their best effort, and they know that they, they have a lot of pressure. Okay. So it's good to see that um, the boys are stepping up and they're giving their, they're going to give it their all on the pitch. So, yeah. And then finally, my last talking point for this game is that the wingers for this club are not that great. We need to really have an honest conversation here that most of these wingers at Barcelona are not very good. Ousmane Dembele, for me, even though he scored on the day, he wasn't that great. He wasn't that great, guys. His decision-making in the final third was disastrous. He always loses the ball easily. And I just think that for Dembele in particular, he's a very kind of a luxurious kind of player, to put it otherwise, short and sweet. 
He's a player that is willing to go for glory, but doesn't really value the importance of the team, you know? And I think that is something that we need to, I think Dembele needs to work on this because let's be real, man. And Dembele keeps us up. We're not going to really see any improvements. And to be honest with you, I'm really more on the side that we should sell him at this rate. You know, I want to give him until the end of the season to prove me wrong. But as of now, I'm considering that maybe we should sell him because this guy has not really been great for us. And he's been here for the longest time of these wingers. Ansi Fadi, I know he scored in the day, but he doesn't have the same explosiveness or fireness about him. He doesn't have that pace. He doesn't have that energetic. Um, he doesn't have that charisma or uh, passionate, you know, energy. And maybe some people are saying he's, he's conserving his energy because, you know, the injury concerns. But it's still worrying because if Ansu Fadi keeps us up, I don't even know if he's going to really have a future at this club. Now, to be fair, Rafinha is a bit... I, I can't really be that harsh on Rafinha because he's not really been playing a lot. And he has looked good. I think in terms of the in terms of who's been better, Ansu Fadi, Dembele, Rafinha, I think he's been the best of the three. Um... And he's definitely been great, you know, keeping his shots, you know, getting the shots on target, you know, forcing keeper to make some saves. I just think that for Rafinha, he just has to be a bit more patient. I think if Rafinha can improve his shooting, I think he'd be a great winger for us and honestly maybe could be a starter for us at this club. So that's pretty much all my talking points for this game. I want you guys to comment down below your talking points for this game and so on and so forth. So it was a big, important game, guys. We had to battle through this game, you know, being behind on, you know, going down behind three times a game. Um... You know, having them coming back from three times from behind down, it was pretty incredible. And we were able to battle through and um, ultimately end up winning 4-3. So, it's a huge, huge result, guys. So, like I said, guys, if you're new on here, consider that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. Comment down below your thoughts. Comment screen below what your talking points are for this game. And make sure, guys, um, comment down below your thoughts. Um, make sure, guys, you're going to be my outdoor clubs. Let's description below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.